Hey guys, these are the notes on solving systems by substitution. Um, it is the second section we're doing in Unit 4. So, you see these steps here. Um, we're going to follow these steps to solve a system of equations by substitution. So, um, we're no longer going to be graphing. We'll solve by substitution. So, I already completed the notes here, but um, basically what you need if you're solving by substitution is you need one of your variables isolated, like this, y is isolated and y equals 3x. Once you have one of your variables isolated, you can substitute um, 3x in for y into the second equation. So again, since y equals 3x in the first equation, I can substitute 3x in, as the arrow shows, in for y into the bottom equation. So I'd get x plus, um, then I substitute 3x in, as I'm saying, so x plus 3x equals negative 32. So again, this equation here is really just this one, except instead of being x plus y equals negative 32, we substitute 3x in for y, and we get x plus 3x equals negative 32. That can be a tricky concept, so make sure you do your best to process that. Once you substitute, you're um, solving it like a regular equation, x plus 3x is 4x, 4x equals negative 32, divide both sides by 4x equals negative 8. Um, once you get that answer, you have to substitute it into one of the original equations. So I took the equation y equals 3x, substitute negative 8 in for x, and that's, you can see that here, and then um, calculate y equals negative 24, and then that you got to write the answer as x comma y. So um, should actually be negative 8 and negative 24. It looks like I forgot to put the negative sign here, but should be a negative 8. And, and I would do one last thing here. I would do one last thing and, and plug my answer into this other equation, right? Um, I already used this one, the y equals 3x, so I'd plug the negative 8 and negative 24 in for y into the, the bottom equation and check to see if it's actually a solution. So it'd be negative 8 plus negative 24 which actually is negative 32, so it, I, at that point I know it's a solution. On this next one over here, um, let me see. So on this one over here, I, I actually have y isolated in both equations, top and bottom. So um, since y equals 2x plus 7 and y also equals x minus 1, um, what I did was I I took 2x plus 7 and substituted it as the arrow shows, substituted it right here for y to get 2x plus 7 here, and then 2x plus 7 equals x minus 1. Again, it's it's substituting, uh, let's just say, a fairly abstract value in for y, or we might substitute for x, but either way, substituting in a fairly abstract value, and then um, once we do that, 2x plus 7 equals x minus 1. You can see I solved the equation. You can see the steps I did to solve it. Got x equals negative 8. And then I went back to the bottom equation here. Go back to one of the original equations. Substitute your answer in for x and get the other variable, which would be y here. So again, substitute a negative 8 in for x. Y equals negative 8 minus 1, then y equals negative 9, then you have your answer x comma y. This, remember, this would technically be the point where the two lines cross, but um, we're not even graphing. We're just figuring out the point by using this method called substitution. So um, again, the point or, or um, ordered pair negative 8, negative 9, you might want to plug that into this top equation just to verify the answer is correct. So I'd plug in a negative 9 for y, negative 8 for x. Um, 2 times negative 8 is negative 16. Negative 16 plus 7 is negative 9, which is what I had a, would have over here for y, so then I know I got the answer right. Um, moving on to a couple others here down, down at the bottom. Um, um, these next two, uh, if you look at the answers, you can see they're, the, they're decimals, so they're a little more of a pain, but, but another thing that's going on in these problems are um, you need to get one of the variables by itself. So, um, like up here, the first two problems, the variables are already isolated. If I'm going to solve by substitution, I do need one of the variables by itself. So the first thing I need to do is either get x or y by itself. So you can see here in the bottom equation, I add 2x to get the y by itself, which leaves me with y equals 2x minus 3. 
and then um, and then I substitute 2x minus 3 in to the top equation for y so I, once I have again in the bottom equation once I have y equals 2x minus 3 once I have y by itself I can now substitute 2x minus 3 in for y into the top equation so the top equation will then be 3 times 2x minus 3 we're going to get rid of y plus 4x equals 14 which you see here and then I got to distribute and and I go through all my steps and solve it like um, any other equation you might have solved in unit one and and finally come to the conclusion of x equals 2.3 and and then I can take the value 2.3 and plug it into um, one of the original equations which you can see here I use the y equals 2x minus 3 equation plug in 2.3 figure out y equals 1.6 and I would recommend using a calculator. Well, first of all, write your answer as x comma y, 2.3 comma 1.6. But then I would also, so um, as I was saying, I'd recommend plugging these points in, um, or these values in x and y. Plug in a 2.3 for x and a 1.6 for y into this top equation. So be careful when you do that. Again, it would be 1.6 here, 3 times 1.6, and then 4 times 2.3. And you might want to use a calculator to verify that actually does equal 14. And when you do plug it in, 3 times 1.6 is 4.8. Um, 4 times 2.3 is going to give me 9.2. So um, 4.8 plus 9.2 actually is 14. So that works. And you can see... Um, you can see in the next problem, it's basically all the same steps. I did have to get x by itself here by subtracting 3y. Um, remember I get x by itself, that way I can then substitute this value negative 3y minus 7 um, in for x into the top equation. So the new equation would be 6y plus 5 times negative 3y minus 7 for x and then equals 8. As you can see here, I distribute, I go through, I solve, I get a, a fairly unfriendly answer that y is equal to negative 4.7 repeating decimal. I plug that into this bottom equation to figure out what x is and it comes out to be 7.1 and then you can plug these two values in, use a calculator into the top equation to verify. Um, again though it's a non-terminating decimal, it's a decimal that goes on forever so that's a little tricky. Um, then in these practice problems it's a lot of the same I, I plugged in a, a 3x, or sorry, here's my two equations. Since y is isolated here, y equals 3x, I could plug 3x in for y into this top equation to, to solve. And then um, in this one, I have y, I have my two equations, and I have y equals x plus 3. If I substitute x plus 3 into the top equation, I can solve for x. You can see I did that here. And all the way till I solve for x, got x equals 8. Once I got x equals 8, I can plug it into either of the original equations. Looks like um, I chose to use the bottom one because it's a little easier to work with. So I plugged in an 8 for x and um, figured out what, or figured out that um, y was 11. So my answer is um, 8 comma 11. Remember x comma y, and you could take 8 and 11 and plug in here. 2 times 8 plus 2 times 11, so that's going to be 16 plus 22, which is 38. So you can always, or you should really go back and check, even if it's just mental math, check your answer. Um, this one here was, um, again, my two equations. I, you could see I isolated y here by subtracting 3x, and, and so I get that um, 18 minus 3x equals y. Once I get that, I can plug 18 minus 3x into the top equation for y, and that's down here is what it looks like. Um, solve it, and um, I got x equals 4. And once I got x equals 4, I took this equation here, um, y equals 18 minus 3x, plugged in a 4 for x, as you can see here, and figured out that y was 6. So my final answer is 4 comma 6. And I, I could plug 4 and 6 into this equation here to verify the answers right. It'd be 4 times 4 is 16, 3 times 6 is 18, and 18 minus 2 is 16. So I'd know that my answer is correct there. Um, here, on this next problem, I got the x by itself here by um, 
well, you can see I did a couple things. I, I moved the, I added x to um, both sides to move the x over here, and then I subtracted 2 on both sides to get 2y minus 2 on the right, and now that I know that x equals 2y minus 2, I can substitute 2y minus 2 in for x into the bottom equation, and, um, and you can see what that looks like here, and then I went ahead and solved it, and I got that y is negative 5. Then I plugged y into the equation here, x equals 2y minus 2, plugged it in, figured out x is negative 12, and so my final answer, x comma y, um, negative 12, negative 5, and then I could plug those numbers into this bottom equation here to check. 5 times negative 5 is negative 25, then um, negative 4 times negative 12 would be a plus 48, so um, negative 25 plus 48 is going to leave you with 23. So that's... Um, uh, again, a bit of practice on solving a system by substitution.